Welcome to CalFrac Well Services. Headquartered in Calgary, Canada, CalFrac was started in 1999 by a team of four dynamic individuals who wanted to put the word service back in the oil field service industry. Today, CalFrac is over 4,500 people strong and operates in six countries, Canada, United States, Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, and Russia. Our three main service lines include hydraulic fracturing, coil tubing, and cementing. Our vision is to be one of the top five pressure pumping companies in the world, and we have a strategic plan that will get us there. Our guiding principles, or the manner in which we want our employees to conduct themselves and make business decisions, focus on service, safety, technical capability, financial responsibility, and of course, our people. We believe CalFrac is a fun and rewarding place to work and that our employees share our culture of being entrepreneurial, ethical, and energetic in everything we do. The purpose of this video is to provide you with some idea of what a typical day is like for an operator at CalFrac. We hope that this information will help you make a decision that will benefit your career for many years to come. Most days typically start very early. We usually get up early in the mornings, like um, sometimes we be in the yard about four o'clock in the morning, you know, getting ready to leave out to go to locations. As the employees arrive at the shop, they sign in on the time clock, then proceed to dispatch to receive their assignment and equipment information for the day. Any paperwork required to be picked up or returned to dispatch is also done at this time. Once all communication and paperwork has been completed with dispatch, operators will pre-trip their assigned truck and ensure it is ready to perform the day's job. Pre-trip refers to regulatory requirements for driving on public roads, as well as ensuring all required materials are loaded and safely secured for transport. CalFrac works with a lot of different pieces of equipment which means pre-trips can vary in complexity and duration depending on the equipment being used. Each crew member relies on other members of the team to ensure material and equipment required for the job is checked and job ready prior to leaving the yard. All trucks then pull up to a predetermined point for a convoy style departure to the job site. Any job function we do will always be preceded by a job safety meeting. Uh, so before we leave the yard with the vehicles, uh, we will have a safety meeting discussing we're pulling out of here, we're headed, going to be heading north on 85, we're going to take 85 to the next highway, at that point we'll go west on that highway. So very specific instructions, make sure everybody understands the route that we're taking uh, before we even leave. They're big about safety here. Like they, you know, they, they take care of their hands and they want, you know, they, they want what's best for you, which in return is best for the company. Calfrac's commitment to safety is reflected in every part of our business. We believe that all employees have a duty to protect not only their own health and safety, but the health and safety of those around us each and every day. We leave in an order so that when it gets on location, when we rig in the equipment, it's set up to go on to location in the order that it left the yard in. There is a set of safety rules for the convoy. Each truck is equipped with a two-way radio to ensure communication between the supervisor and convoy members is possible at all times. This helps maintain the safety of CalFrac's crew members and of the general public. Depending on the distance to the job site, employees can expect the driving portion of the day to range from 10 to 50% of the entire workday. When compared to hours spent on the well site, driving time is relatively short. However, it is one of the most important tasks performed during an employee's workday. Once the convoy has arrived at the job site, the supervisor will walk the location and identify any potential hazards. This is part of the JSA, or Job Safety Assessment. After this safety step is complete and findings are communicated to the crew, the supervisor will begin spotting equipment on the job site. When drivers pull up on location with their pieces of equipment, uh, they will receive visual and uh, radio confirmation from the supervisor to come on to location with their piece of equipment. Once they do that, uh, there's a very specific order in how we bring those units on just because it is a big, large jigsaw puzzle. It's an organized ballet of how to get all of these pieces of equipment in a very small area. 
to do that, it's a very big goal to make sure that safety is our biggest concern while doing that. We have ground guides in the front of the vehicle, ground guides in the back of the vehicle. In some instances, this could be a vehicle that's 50 to 60 feet long, uh, and you've got another 25 vehicles on that location. So safety is one of the biggest concerns with spotting the equipment, making sure when that vehicle's pulling forward, when it's backing up, that everyone knows exactly what that one vehicle is doing. Once the equipment has been spotted on the job site, the rig-in process begins. During the rig-in meeting, Calfrax crew discusses any potential hazards on the job site and each of the operator's responsibilities. The rig-in process consists of many specific jobs and each one is vital to performing quality service. So the rig-up process, once all the trucks are spotted and ready to go, the rig-up process will be the step-by-steps that we will use to take all of these different pieces of equipment that we've just spotted on location to connect them all together to work together as one big unit. There are two sides to rigging in, a high pressure side and low pressure side. As a new employee, you can expect to spend more time working on the low pressure side. As you get more experienced with our operations and complete your field training, you will begin working in the other areas of the operation. The low pressure side consists of frack tanks, suction manifolds, a hydration unit, blender, sandmaster or sandstorm, and a chemical unit. These are typically hooked together using hoses from one unit to another. Now when the weather's bad, and I'm not gonna lie, for the new guys, it's gonna, it's not great, you know. You, know, you are the newer guy, so you are, you know, in the little bit less desirable positions, but you know, I remember those days being frozen from the waist down and cold and thinking that they're just trying to kill you. They're not, you know, they're, it's part of the job and everybody got their chance to do it. The high pressure side consists of the discharge manifold, frack pumps, frack lines, and the wellhead. High pressure pipe, referred to as iron, is used to connect these pieces of equipment. Iron is removed from the truck, and in some instances, a crane is used to offload the iron. The iron is carefully laid out, then connected tightly using hammers and specialized tools. You'll have several different people doing several different jobs, uh, guys using different pieces of equipment at all times. Once again, the whole organized ballet comes into it again. Uh, and because of that, safety is one of the biggest issues when we come to that because you have several different guys doing several different jobs all at the same time, all trying to go for the same goal, which is to get everything ready to where we can do our job, but at the same time doing it safely, doing it effectively and efficiently. A pre-job safety meeting is held prior to starting any work on site. This mandatory meeting is conducted by the location consultant and held for all personnel on location regardless of employer. The pre-job safety meeting reviews job assignments, maximum pressures, evacuation routes, and muster points in the unlikely event of an emergency. If you feel something isn't safe, you can go to somebody and CalFrac will listen to you. During the hydraulic fracturing process, each employee has a specific job function. As a new employee, your main duties will include tasks such as assisting operators in the maintenance of pumps, blenders, hydration units, and chemical units, operating the sandmaster or fuel truck, and monitoring water tanks and closing the valves when they are empty. In CalFrac's constant efforts to improve all areas of our business, you may also be asked to be a safety monitor and offer your perspective on our current procedures. As a new employee, you have a fresh set of eyes and therefore a fresh take on additional and best practice processes relating to safety in the workplace. CalFrac offers comprehensive training programs for all operators that include online learning, on-the-job training by a coach or mentor, and hands-on testing to ensure you're able to do the job safely and efficiently. All operators are enrolled in the CERT program, or CalFrac Employee Responsibility Training at the time of hire and have access to additional training programs as they progress through their career with the company. The most important aspect of being a team member with CalFrac is to be ready to jump in and help your crew whenever possible. 
This on-the-job experience will provide you with an opportunity to learn equipment maintenance, collaborate with and be mentored by senior staff, and enhance your career with CalFRAC through practical training. No matter what you do, you find something to do. If it's take out the trash, if it's sweep up a floor, you, anybody that's above you, you ask them, hey man, what, what, what do I need to be doing? Like, what, what, what can I be doing right now? You know, pick up a shovel, it does not matter. Always busy, always finding something to do, then you will make it in the oil field. So during the pumping process, when we're watching the pressures, our pump room guys are gonna be watching the pressures on the job. We have our optimal ranges of our pressures that we're gonna work at that day. So during our safety meeting that we have at the beginning of the day, we'll discuss what our max pressure is gonna be for that day. Anytime during that process of the fracturing process that we get close to that pressure is when we'll start backing off pumps and start managing our pressure so that we don't get to a critical point that we have a safety issue of a, of a separation of iron or any other issues like that. The data van is a control center for the fracturing operation. Uh, in the data van is where you're going to see all of your screens, all of your gauges, you're going to see all of your different lines showing exactly how much chemicals are going down hole, what rate are we pumping at, what pressure are we pumping at. Uh, this is where you'll find the company man who's responsible for the job, our soup threes on the jobs, which are going to be our head guys on location, that's where they'll sit. It's basically just a mobile command center. Jobs are completed by stages. Each stage repeats the fracturing process deeper in the well. A well may be a single stage job, or there could be as many as 15 to 20 stages per well. It can take up to several days to complete a well with multiple stages. Many of our operations continue over a 24-hour period. This is accomplished by rotating crews every 12 hours. Some locations are too far from the base for employees to return home at night. In these instances, crews stay at hotels. You have to be able to adapt to schedule changes and be ready to work if needed to ensure that we continue to provide quality and timely service to our customers. Safety meetings and pressure testing take place throughout the job. This keeps the focus on safety and job quality. Once the last stage is completed, a safety meeting will be held prior to rigging out. So once all of our stages are completed and we're done fracturing for the day, our rig out process is going to be the exact opposite of everything we did earlier that morning. Uh, when we go through that process, everything we did first we're going to do last, everything we did last we're going to do first. Uh, we're going to go through, we're going to take apart all the iron, we're going to take apart all of our hoses, put all those back on the trucks and the equipment that they go on, and then once again the same process that we use to get all of the equipment on location, we're going to use that same process in reverse to get all the pieces of equipment off location. Extra care is required by all employees during rig out as it generally occurs at the end of a long day. People are tired and anxious to go home. It is important to work at a steady pace during the rig out and pay careful attention to the job at hand while communicating with fellow employees. Rushing through the rig out process can lead to shortcuts and shortcuts can lead to injuries. The oil field ain't for everybody. I always look at it like the oil field gets the best and the worst of people and Calfrac seems to be able to attract the best of that genre of people that work. I mean, because you get some of these little mom and pop companies that they'll hire anybody without a drug test and all that and you get, you know, those are not the companies you want to go to work for. The company like Calfrac, you know, you, you really can't get hired if you're a person like that. So you, you come out here and you have the guys that are willing to work, willing to make the money, and then you put them all in one crew. You know, it, I, I like that. Safety is at the heart of CalFRAC's business. It is part of our mission statement and our guiding principles. Looking out for yourself and your crew members ensures everyone goes home safely. There's a lot of camaraderie throughout the, uh, throughout the different crews and everybody's always there to help. It's everybody's there to watch your back. Hey, don't do it this way. Do it this way. It's safer. It's easier. You're not going to hurt anybody. Before we start our convoy to leave location to head back to the yard, we'll once again have another safety meeting. We'll discuss our route. It's very possible that our route going home is different from our route that we came to location. Prior to departure, all operators are responsible for inspecting their unit for load securement and other regulatory required items. Courteous and safe driving is an essential part of CalFRAC's safety mandate and part of our social license to operate. 
So once we left location and we've arrived back to the yard, uh, all pieces of equipment will be parked uh, in its proper spot. Once that is done, our guys will go through and do the proper paperwork. They'll also do another inspection of their vehicle once they've parked their vehicle. Go back to inspect their vehicle, there's a, what we call a post trip. Uh, make sure that nothing has changed on their vehicle from the time they left location to the time back to the yard. Once they've done that, our guys are responsible for several pieces of paperwork documenting where that truck was that day, how many miles that truck drove that day, who drove that truck, who did the inspection on that truck, if there was any problems with that vehicle that they noticed on the way back. Do that, turn in all your proper paperwork, uh, check with your supervisor, see if there's anything else that needs to be done before the day is out, and then clock out and go home. Well, to anyone who's thinking about doing this, you have to actually do it for a while to get a sense of it. You're not gonna be able to understand what it's like in a couple weeks or even a couple months. You got to have your heart in it. If your heart is not in it, and, and if you out here just wanna make a paycheck, you're not gonna last long. You're not gonna last long. If you put your nose down on the grindstone, you pay attention and you do the job to the best of your ability, and you double check everything, you'll be able to move up quicker than most other places I've worked. Calfrac Well Services provides training, career advancement opportunities, and work-life balance. The safety culture is embraced by everyone at the company, and combined with its core values, it makes for a great place to work and advance your career. None of the work we do is easy. Sometimes it is wet, muddy, and cold. People who succeed at Calfrac are entrepreneurial, ethical, and energetic. They are driven and always keep safety and customer service in their minds. Our people are provided opportunities to learn, train, succeed, and develop their careers within our organization. Being part of Calfrac's exceptional crew makes Calfrac a rewarding place to work.